Hey friends, thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm gonna make a day in the life today and I wanted to take you along. I have been really inspired by a couple of videos that I watched recently and one in particular that was called um, What Happens When Mom Gets Up Late? And I decided, yeah, I need to, I want to film, I want to do this because I enjoy this <laughs> and even if I didn't get up on time or things aren't the way that I wish they were at home, I'm going to make a day in life and take you guys along. The late, last couple days I have not been feeling great, so our house is a disaster. I will show you around in a few minutes. And um, I got up late today because I had a headache. It hasn't been a great start, but it's going to be a good day. We're going to have a good day. Lots of things planned. Um, homeschooling, cleaning up the house, some organizing, some activities with the kids, and I think it's going to be fun. So. Come and join us. This little man has started his morning off jumping in the Jolly Jumper with some music. Are you done now? Hey buddy. on here for a couple minutes and tell you about what we're doing so um, Emmanuel is eight and a half months old and so right now he still has a nap in the morning which is great because it gives me some time to get some stuff done and also some time just with Esther so um, I got Esther all ready for her day and now she is in our bedroom um, watching a video and it's really really cool um, I'm actually gonna show it to you guys Okay, I'm back. So, um, this is the video that she's doing today, and it's called Scripture Talk. A friend passed it on to me, and I have to admit, when I looked at it, I was like, oh, it's a bit cheesy. I don't know if she's going to really like it. She loves it. It's great. She really, really likes it. So I highly recommend Scripture Talk. And um, this one has 10 Bible passages taught on it. But they also have a website that I really want to check out, scripturetalkministries.com. And um, so it, they're teaching children, young children, to memorize the Word of God with actions and explaining the whole passage. So today we read Psalm 1 at the breakfast table, and now she's watching the video um, memorizing Psalm 1. And I just went in there and she was doing the actions and repeating. So that's great. That's about 10 minutes. I've got about 10 minutes to clean up. The first thing I went and I did is I made my bed, which will you will see that clip in a bit. And then I'm just going to tidy up here. My husband Fi already washed the breakfast dishes for me, which is so nice. I'm going to tidy up really quickly and get everything out to do a little bit of homeschool with Esther. We don't do it every single day, but we do I do try to do 
um, maybe once a week or twice a week. Just depends on our week. She's not three yet, so if we don't do it, it's fine. It's no big deal, but she is learning the alphabet. She's almost finished, and we have some other activities. So before we do that, though, I will show you how messy my house is, and then I'm going to tidy it up a little bit because it's, it's bad. So like I said, if I already washed the dishes, that was very nice of him. And then I have here, I have some beef gravy that is thawing and some meat patties here that I'm going to make Salisbury steaks with, but that's for lunch. I have to deal with that later. This is, this is pretty tidy. But then our living room is a big mess. The kids got a lot of toys out yesterday and didn't clean them up, so I'm going to tidy it up. Usually I get Esther to help me, but she didn't make most of this mess, so I think it's unfair for her to... <laughs> There's my tripod. And um, even over here, our desk and everything, our desk area is a big mess. So definitely be cleaning up that. And then our laundry room. I got my instant pot out. Mop. It's just stuff. Stuff sitting everywhere, folks.
looking better. It's not perfect. Later I have to vacuum and stuff. But at least now it's all tidied up. The counter's clear. And this space is clear. Hint, here's a little tip for you. I find that if I have cleaned up my kids' toys or they clean up with me um, and everything's put away, they're more likely to play with the toys and occupy themselves. If all the toys are out in a big mess, they just kind of wander through them. Even Emmanuel just kind of crawls through the stuff and doesn't play with anything. Whereas the adventure of getting it out every day seems to be great. So I try at the very least to clean up the kitchen and pop things into the toy box and then they always seem to do better at playing and really occupying themselves. I would guide it in the home decor, okay? Okay, so we have been having a good mo morning. Moving, doing lots of things, uh, tidied up a little bit, and then Esther and I did some homeschool. Do you want to come up? Um, so this year for homeschool, Esther is doing just recognition. Recognition of numbers, colors, letters, and shapes. And we're almost finished the alphabet, so she's not doing any writing or anything like that. It's only recognition of the shapes. And um, it's really low key. If we don't get it done, it's fine. But I do like to try to do a little bit with her. She really enjoys it. She really likes it. So we, oh, don't do that. Let's get over your teeth. No, that's mommy's water. This is your water. Do you like some water? Um, so we're almost done the alphabet, which is great because it's the end of May. So um, today she did the letter U, unicorn, and up, uh, up, uh, umbrella. And we also are learning shapes right now. She already knows all her colors and most of her numbers up to 10. Which, so those were like, those were my goals for this year, which is great. So we're almost done. And I am already looking a little bit towards next year. And next year she'll be doing kind of a more formal curriculum. But I just got lunch going and uh, we're trying a new recipe of Salisbury steaks in the instant pot. We'll see how that goes. I think it's going to be really yummy. And um, hey you, um, rice and veggies are cooking. So right now I am going to check my planner. I love my planner so much. I write so much in my planner including my list of jobs to get done for the day. So um, and thus far I've got in basically nothing on my list done, so we need to actually get going on my list of stuff, other than tidying up and um, my activities with Esther, which is good. That I like to get done in the morning so that I have one-on-one -on -one time with her early in the day. So a couple weeks ago, or a couple weeks ago, a couple days ago, um, we had an interesting, fun little experience. It rained, it quite literally rained in our storage room. And um, the only thing that actually got completely ruined and I need to do something about was my box of tea. The tea inside of it is still dry and good, but the box itself is like all broken. So I thought I would give Esther the job of putting them in plastic bags for me so that this, um, I'm going to keep drying because the bottom is all broken.
lunch looks really good. Yum. I hope everybody likes it. <laughs> quesadillas for supper so super easy and I've got a zoom call in a few minutes this weird world um, needs a lot of zoom calls so I have a zoom call for mental health class that I'm doing and it'll be my first time so I'll see what that's like I'm interested to see what it's about and you know just bedtime routine and getting the kids into bed but you know even though I had a late start to the day the last few days I've not been feeling well and I haven't gotten you know everything that I wanted to get done done. I haven't kept the house the way I wanted it to. It's been a good day. Got lots done. Thanks to Fi, he um, helped me clean up the house. He vacuumed, he mopped for me. So the house is really, really clean now. And hey, we ate, we played, we did stuff. We had a good day. We had a good day. So thanks for joining me again. Look forward to seeing you in my next video. If you don't already, uh, follow me along on Instagram and Facebook. I do post more frequently on both of them. So um, follow me if you want to, um, especially for more like recipes ideas and that kind of stuff. I do lots of posts about that, but um, thanks and I hope you'll say hi in the comments below. Bye.